Um, mm. Hey, Sean. Okay, I think I'm. I think he's great. For me, okay. He's frozen in carbonite. <laughs> it might maybe it'll take Streamyard a, like Stream a minute or two. Up. Must be my internet on my end. I don't know what's going on. Now there you're clear. Oh, there we go. There it's we go. finding. It's finding. Your audio is fine. That's the important thing. We can okay. Finding itself. I feel like it's working now. Is it working now? Yeah. It's a little delayed. We, yeah. we, we got a brand new movie and just announced. Uh, Fast X3. Uh, <laughs> the day. Day. Wow. Funny. Look at that explosion. <laughs> is that how you spell bidet? No. Yeah. Bet it. You got to bet it. Wet it and bet it. Very nice, CGH. Okay, so Sean, are you sticking with your predictions on the Flash? Absolutely. What what thoughts? makes you think? What why do you think it's going to bomb? Not bomb, but no, I don't think it's going to bomb. I think it'll oh, do more sorry. than it'll be. It'll do more than Black Adam, but I don't think it's going to do well. Um, hmm. I I think that it's like I've been saying this whole time. I think the nostalgia of Michael Keaton will be worn off after the opening weekend, and there's just too much stuff going on. I think you've got holdovers. You're going to have, uh, you know, Transformers, Little Mermaid. You've got all these movies that are still out. Fast and Furious is still making money. And everybody's taking a, a, a piece of it. And even though Elemental may not be a breakout hit, uh, if it does do $40 million, that's $40 million The Flash would have made if it didn't get released on that weekend. And I think that there's another movie that's going to be a sleeper hit. Um, it's a horror film with a black cast. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, the Blackening? The Blackening. Yeah, yes. that's going to suck up so much money. I don't think people are prepared for that. I haven't it's seen really the trailer funny. for that. I haven't seen the trailer for that yet. funny. I saw, yeah, the, the, I saw the poster in the theater when we saw Mermaid. I will say this. Uh, I'm hearing insane buzz for The Flash amongst everybody I know. The people who don't go to the movies, the people who never talk about the movies are coming up to me and telling me how excited they are about The Flash. Okay. So that that Keaton nostalgia is is going to be pretty powerful, I think. I don't so, know. So Sean, you're saying that um the the box office for The Flash is going to be pretty front loaded just for that weekend. Absolutely. I'm thinking okay. 70 to 80 million tops. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? That, it, I, you know what I think the best bet is what for it? it. I think the best bet is for it is international. If if there's an international audience, because sometimes you get surprised some of these movies. I I've been very surprised with the reactions that have come out. That there's no one singular thing. I guess outside of Ezra, that it just seems like it's a great movie from all fronts. So I don't even think Keaton matters at all. Like I don't. I think I that's, that's going to get people in the, the theater. But I then think, the word of mouth, I think, is going to maybe bring them back for seconds. And, and also, see, and Sean, see, that's where I don't think that's going to happen. I don't. Hmm. I, and and all the people that got the advanced screenings, half of them aren't going to go back. Uh, no, you, I'm, I'm hearing them say if they this thing's going to go hit seven hundred hmm. million, eight hundred million, you, well, people are going to have to see it two, three, four times. What about that secret ending that they were talking about that they haven't revealed to most people yet? The secret ending that I have been saying for months, if you've been it, following me. Well, wait, people might not want to know this is a spoiler. Though. I wasn't going to say <laughs> what it was. No, no, no. This is not um, confirmed. This okay. is my prediction. Okay, it's a prediction. Okay. It will reveal the new Superman once Ezra Miller makes it back to his timeline. And he's looking around like, what's going on? All of a sudden, you'll see the new Superman. I agree with you, but I also kind of disagree with you. I agree that it is going to be something like that, but I don't think it's going to be Superman. I think it's going to be the new Batman. Because I heard it ends with him looking for Batman, and then he finds Batman, but it's not his Batman. So I'm assuming that they, it might be whoever's Batman and Brave and the Bold. Well, and and then that would probably be Nathan Fillion. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, that's so, what I think. So, oh, sure, man. question for you. So, in so what you're saying is that, from what you're saying is that they show the Superman, is it going to be a faceless cameo, like no face? Or... Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be like, behind him kind of like on peacemaker when he's hovering there and right. this way they can get away with not having to show the cape not have to show the costume because it's still in development but, and right. and then maybe ezra will go oh well 
you're not my Superman or you're not. So where am I now? Am I in the right timeline? Where am uh, I? Okay. That's smart. And I think um, that's where they're going to, I don't think they would hide that. I don't think that's a big deal. If, especially yeah, if they're not going to show a specific, if they're not going to show a specific Superman, I think they just show that in all these. They've done that so many other there. times. That's actually pro- more likely than not. Yeah. I don't think they would hide that. I think it needs to be a little bigger. Like Sean, show, the, show I, I am, the Superman. I am so mad at you right now, Sean. I am so mad at you because I never ever considered Nathan Fillion as Batman, but you've put that idea in my head, and if I don't get it now, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, <laughs> it, it makes absolutely so much sense because oh. he just finished doing Guardians of the Galaxy three. He's best friends with um, uh, and and one of the things that um he made a comment. James Gunn said somebody from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three is in the oh. movie. And if you think about it, the bold and the brave or whatever is supposed to be the older kind of Batman, but not too old with the son, uh, Robin. And so like, it makes yeah. perfect sense. He's the right age to be not old like Ben Affleck old, uh, you know, with the gray in the hair, but he could still be a seasoned Batman. And I think it's I think it's Nathan Fillion. I want this so bad. I, like I feel it. like I feel like uh, Decker at the end of Star Trek, the motion picture. I want this, Jim. You wanted the Enterprise. You know the, I want this. I I love Nathan. <laughs> the only the only reason I kind of like annoyed with him a little bit is because I heard stories about that actress on Castle that she was he was pretty mean to her and they had some issues there. But I don't know for a fact of anything because I used to really like that show and I didn't even get to finish because I heard they were really disliked each other for some reason. And I'm still I'm still with the idea that Batman will be Dick Grayson and. The Brave and the Bold, because I can't he, see that because the comic book he referenced, so Batman he and Robin. His mind? One, one second, CJ. The comic book on um, James Gunn posted was Batman and Robin, and that was Dick Grayson and Damian Wayne. Yeah, that's from August twentieth, twenty thirteen. That's not a bad theory. I, I, it's not a bad theory at all. Just you know, well, James Gunn changed his mind too, CJ. Yeah, he James didn't Gunn didn't want to direct <laughs> Superman. All of a sudden, it's like, I'm going to direct it now. And Ben Affleck yeah. changed his mind multiple times. I'm Batman, I'm not Batman. I'm Batman, I'm not Batman. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, he, didn't, he didn't want to direct the Superman legacy? Yeah, I thought he was always into that. I think he didn't want to direct the, the DCEU version of Superman when they offered it back then. Well, maybe, maybe that was the story. But I'm telling you. It's Nathan Fillion, man. Oh man, he does look cool as that an older be, Batman. Yeah, that would be. He great. could totally do it. Yeah, he was yeah. great as the Holy Avenger in Super. In Super. Well, and you think about like his character in Firefly, you know, minus the kind of faux Southern accent. It he he could be that guy. Do you, you know, want that, rather him as Green Lantern? He is great. He is nah, great when he's intense. Nah, Green Lantern. No. Nah. Well, I think they're going to go with... Uh, I like that Batman idea. Um, is it John Stewart? Jo- yeah, as yeah. the Green Lantern. Oh, yeah, John Stewart, yeah. I've always said that he's a movie star waiting to happen. I always, I, I've Ooh. never... Uh, Nathan Fillion, I never... Oh, I, I, I love that breakout. short he did for Uncharted. was amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. very good. Was very I always good. thought he would have been the perfect Indiana Jones replacement for uh, Harrison Ford. I thought he would have been a great Indiana he, Jones. More, I think more he would so have. for Uncharted, you know. Yeah. Yes. But he's got the Bruce have Wayne you, kind of suave him, look. No, I have not. No. That'd be It'd be cool. cool, though. Yeah. How about an Indiana Jones reboot with Tom Holland? <laughs> no. Ah. no. I like Tom Holland. I did not like Uncharted. It was just okay. It was very average to me. Uncharted. Yeah, he 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 was no Nathan Drake. I had nothing invested in it because I'd never played the game, and mm-hmm. so so when I watched the movie, I had fun with it. I thought it was it was just fun, mm-hmm. you know. Well, he's also got to be old enough for Dick Grayson to be Nightwing. Mm. You know, oh, mm. you know who they should bring back? I saw I was watching a Gangster Squad, and I thought. In my head, I just turned it into Dick Tracy, Josh Brolin as D- Dick Tracy. If they ever decide to reboot it, that would be really that cool. would be a good one. Yeah, Dick Tracy's a weird one because Warren Beatty still owns the film rights. Oh, really? And, and he keeps doing these little TV specials like every 10 years or so. Uh, like he'll do interviews like with Leonard <laughs> Walton and things like in character as Dick Tracy just to retain the rights. Wow, it's really weird. 
Yeah, he's huh. really obsessed with that. Although I think he did a good job. Yeah, I love Dick Tracy. I 